Hello, did you know that you are electric? And I don't mean you're really interesting, I'm sorry. I mean literally. You have got teensy tiny bits of electricity running through every single cell in your body. Today's project uses that fact to solve a common problem. I don't know about you, but I've been finding with home learning that I'm having to use a tablet or a phone quite a lot more than I normally do. And I'm having to do things that I don't normally do either, like draw on them or write on them. Unfortunately for me, my fingers are too clumsy to make it an easy task. So we're gonna use the power of our own body's electricity, plus a little bit of smart engineering to create a solution. You'll need some aluminum foil, an old pen, a Q-tip and some tape. First start with the pen, take it apart, take the lid off, take the inside ink out, then take the little cap at the end off as well. You want the inside of the pen to be empty so that you can put the Q-tip inside of it. Then you want to cut off some aluminium foil, that's just about the right size to go around the pen, and you do want a little bit of overlap at the edges so that they can be folded back into the holes. Once you've smoothed it out and you're happy, put some tape on it to hold it secure. You can see that I've folded the edges over, that's so that it looks neat, but also so that there's a really good connection between the metal and the Q-tip. We'll see why in just a second. Now you just need to take the Q-tip and then you need to put it back into the pen just like the ink was originally. Now you've got your stylus. The trouble is it's not conductive without water. That's because the electricity flows from your fingers down through the metal because metal is conductive and can carry electricity through it to the Q-tip. But the Q-tip is made of cotton and cotton isn't conductive, but water is conductive. So when you dip the Q-tip in water, the electricity is able to jump between the water molecules and then down onto the touchscreen. And you're able to use your stylish new stylus, whew, that was hard to say, however you like. I hope you enjoy making it and I know myself that I've found it really useful. So hopefully it's useful for you as well. Catch you next time.